Hello dear student, this part of uh, video will cover the second example of uh, e-views uh, which is given on the page uh, Brooks uh, introductory financial econometrics page number 121 to 123. Actually this example uh, is related to testing um, the parameters alpha and beta so the testing of alpha and beta and uh, he is demanding that you can reload the uh, previous example which we have uh, uh, gone through for the uh, for finding the simple regression uh, r future and spot future so we are starting from the same screenshot which brooks has mentioned on page number 121 so let's discuss the details what he is demanding that uh, he is demanding that uh, with the help of e views we have uh, to find the t testing procedure so see here uh, in this table the third uh, the first column is comprises of the coefficients of the parameters that is our uh, alpha and that is our beta and the second column is uh, uh, providing information related to the standard error of alpha and beta and uh, here we have also the standard error of regression line is here so you know with the manual procedure uh, standard error of regression line and standard error of alpha and beta are very important for for the procedure of the t-test so the uh, last uh, third column is uh, present the t ratio which which are the test statistic of uh, the testing the null hypothesis that the true values of these parameters are against uh, two side alternative hypothesis so uh, we have normally construct the null hypothesis for the alpha um, h naught is equal to zero and uh, for uh, uh, for the alternative hypothesis h naught uh, alpha is equal to is not as equal to zero and for the beta uh, h naught uh, null hypothesis beta is equal to zero and alternative beta is not as equal to zero so this is the uh, null and alternative hypothesis which we are uh, testing here in e view the fact that the first of these statistic is varies very small to inductive and uh, normally we consider that uh, alpha uh, doesn't have uh, 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 such effect which which forecast the value of uh, uh, dependent variable so that's why uh, our main concern uh, of uh, of the t test here that we have to test the uh, slope here we have a beta uh, and the fourth column shows the probability value so see here here we have the probability value and you are very well aware that the what is the explanation of the probability value and uh, probability uh, confirms the significance and insignificance of uh, of the variable and uh, normally we uh, we are taking as f uh, level five percent level of significance so uh, we can uh, use the probability as uh, uh, as to test the significance and insignificance of the variable okay uh, uh, here we have a p-value is 0 0.9809 so this reveals that our constant our slope is insignificant and uh, here we have a p-value 0, 0.00 this indicate that uh, uh, our um, slope is highly significant so uh, from this we also know that our variables uh, variable is our slope our parameter is significant but we have to uh, go through a proper procedure which Brooks has given in his book that uh, see here what he, Brooks has demanding that uh, uh, that he is saying that uh, we can uh, uh, we can use the coefficient diagnose wall test uh, wall 
test and coefficient resi coefficient restriction uh, for testing the t-test so let's start click on view coefficient diagnostic and here we have a world test coefficient restriction and see here uh, a window is open that is demanding the what uh, the coefficient you want to restrict so here we have a, uh, we have a C2 because our uh, uh, slope is C2 so that's why we are saying that C2 uh, is equal to 1 we are uh, we are uh, restricting the slope so press ok and then this screenshot will be open and this is the same screenshot which Brooks has given on the page number 123 so that is 120 122 this is given as the page number 122 here we are uh, testing the teeth as as had the five percent level of significance so uh, so see here if any of uh, of uh, these statistics t statistic f statistic and chi scale are significant then you have insignificant variables so if they are significant insignificant then your variable is significant so uh, uh, so so with the help of e views you can test uh, more than uh, one slope at the same time so this is the more uh, comfortable zoom for us okay uh, here uh, we can uh, see the simple interpretation that test the test is performed in three different ways uh, but the results said that uh, the null hypothesis could clearly not be rejected so p value is highly insignificant for the test is considerably greater than 0 0.5 on each case note that since we are testing a single restriction that t and f and chi square version is not uh, our main concern because we are uh, we have main concern is here as a t test so uh, on the basis of the t test if these are i told you that if these are significant then our uh, then our selected uh, independent variable is insignificant so here these are insignificant so we can conclude that our uh, slope is significant here another uh, screenshot Brooks has given on page number 23 here uh, he is using the uh, data of uh, our spot direct spot and future for this analysis so you have to select the dependent variable as spot as and futures so click right click open open as equation and you have to remove constant from here to here okay keep it in mind that uh, if you are using constant on the here then this is uh, your c1 and if you, do, you are using constant here so so this means that c1 the restriction which we have imposed in our uh, in our uh, uh, coefficient so this means that uh, here this is c1 and this is c2 and if c is here in place of here so this reveals that now our c1 is this and c2 is this so that's why we follow the book so that's why we can put c here so press OK and this is our uh, uh, outcome that here we have a spot price dependent variable and our future is independent variable but here we have a main concern that we have we want to see that our, our slope especially beta is significant or insignificant so we have to test coefficient diagnose, diagnostic and then wall statistic and now we put a restriction on C2 because C2 is our slope is equal to 1 so now click OK OK this is the same screenshot which is given on the page number 120 123 so 
see here uh, our uh, T statistic and F statistic and chi square statistic are significant at five percent. So this reveals that our slope is insignificant. So this is a reverse. Uh, 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 normally, take keep it in mind that that uh, diagnostic test uh, uh, give us a reverse interpretation as compared to uh, as compared to other uh, regular tests like uh, which we have uh, uh, here in case of estimates in case of estimate so in case of uh, diagnostic test this interpretation uh, reversed so this is uh, this was the outcome again i am finding it for you so see here we have c c2 is equal to zero so this is the screenshot which is given on the page number 123 so uh, see you with the other example of e views which is given in brooks introductory financial econometry Okay, ciao.